for the morning. Yesterday I put some new bedding down for the goats um, outside. Especially if it looks like it's going to rain for a few days. Sometimes I'm not wasting good hay. I will take the bedding from the hay crib that falls down. Because goats are messy. I'll just kind of gather it up. Whatever it looks like they're walking out looks wet. I try to add it to the ground. Um, obviously where they've been walking I did that. Not hard to do, you just sprinkle it. It, it basically just helps them walk on something other than a marshy mess. So I was trying to spread hay out to areas like this to promote grass growing because technically it's still got seeds and things like that in it. And also just to help keep the goats from walking on uh, mucky soil because it's bad on their feet. To get my gloves out, I was um, using the old pitchfork. Pretty much where they stand they also piss underneath where I grab it's usually pretty decent. But then where they stand you can tell it's all pissy and nasty. So that I kind of use to just fill in areas like that right there is kind of low. And uh, this is my area here where I've been trying to do a makeshift pile of compost. <laughs> Looks like I have an onion growing apparently. Wow, I just noticed that. Uh, hey, little guy. Maybe I'll transplant that one, I don't know. Still breathing hard, just got done. You know, you might ask yourself, was it necessary to dig all this out? Yeah, to be honest with you, probably not. But it feels better. I know the goats have some more kind of thing to do their thing. I will admit though, I intentionally, I'm stepping back for a reason, put this in a low spot. You can see it's higher here. Back over there, about where my finger's at, and then where that stump is, kind of goes down, comes back, and then it all sort of goes down in here. I intentionally put it there to build up the soil, but at the same breath, it's like, you know, I want to purposefully also fill this in. I've been working hard to throw stuff in here to fill this in, build it up. There's a lot of weird random holes in this property. Uh, Tell you what, I'll just show you this other one I've been working on. You can probably see it looks lighter. I used the six inch chipper from work and I just chipped and chipped and chipped a whole bunch in here. And uh, it's gonna compost down, so it'll go lower than it is now. But well, once again, just another big hole, just trying to fill it in. I'll probably throw in most of these logs and stumps around it help fill it in and let those compost down uh, whew, still breathing hard so <clears throat> yeah you know it wasn't 100% necessary but at the same breath I also kind of wanted to see how it was decomposing underneath and I'd say the last inch or so was just solid I don't know if it's poop or you know manure I don't know what you'd call it exactly but it was Definitely um, smelling good, but not in a bad way. It smelled like manure and poop. Um, now this pile has been going for a while, and I flipped this over a minute ago just to see. And I mean, it's composting down beautifully. If you ask me, no complaints there. And that's that's just from the. Uh, from inside the goat shed there. Oh wow, I just noticed something. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. It's like a misty haze coming off the roof. <laughs> it's 
So, yeah, you know, it's working out okay. I, um, we'll take the next batch of stuff from inside the goat shed and probably put it right next to it and just keep filling this in and doing whatever. Maybe I'll put it on top. I don't know. We'll see.